Hey, it's Ryan Van Ruckel, Pioneer Agronomist in Southern Iowa. I'm out here in Davis County, 2018. We had another drought down here. So I want to walk you through real quickly uh, some of the ears that we're seeing and explain some of the differences out there. All right, so here's a few ears for you. This one uh, does have a tip, but this is actually a fairly normal ear here. Um, and we got another one here, a little bit bigger, um, but a little tip. So some hybrids do that. Um, more than others um, a tip's not always a bad thing you know so this one's about 20 around um, so there are a lot of kernels there as you move to the right these three here that's a uh, pollination stress so you see these big kernels and then a bunch of ones missing around the outside um, that's where the silks uh, just probably desiccated before they got pollen down to the ear um, you know it was really hot and dry during pollination this year um, this year it seems like the later hybrids took it a little worse as far as timing on pollination stress. Last year in the drought, the earlier hybrids seemed to take it a little worse. Um, so you never really know another plug there to spread out your maturities a little bit, spread out your silking dates. Um, but you can see just where they miss. Now, over here is a couple more uh, ones with noses. I left the silks on here. You actually see there's still silks. Um, those did develop um, and then just didn't pollinate out there. And to some degree, that was exasperated by the drought, um, and it's more than just a normal nose. Now, this one, you see some of these uh, kernels in here are starting to get a little lighter colored, where they pollinated successfully and developed, um, but then they aborted. And so some of these happened at the bottom, too. Sometimes these very bottoms uh, were a little late to get pollen. Maybe they got their silks out early here. Uh, before the pollen was ready and so they were a little later and then aborted versus at the top You know, those are generally the last ones that pollinate first ones to be aborted You know an abortion this early abortion can happen in a good field, too So here's a better year from a different field Pollinated clear to the tip, but you see a little bit of tip back there or a little early abortion uh, where they died Now a couple extreme examples on the end is when they dry really early. So this one is uh, prematurely dead um, it's got a really nasty spongy cob there. It's going to be really hard to shell terrible test weight That is a plant that died way too early And here's another one that's not quite as bad as far as uh, spongy cob But it's got a little bit and I kept the, the shank there uh, You can see the it was one that drooped down early and so that ear shank collapsed from a lack of water pressure and uh, and it died early so We're seeing a little bit of all this um, sometimes all in the same field so if you're wondering uh, what was causing one of these years, maybe this video helped you explain that. Thanks. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.